Welcome everyone, my name's Stephen Brooks and I've created the Air Insulated Substation Design Course. Air Insulated Substations are used by electrical utilities around the world and are the most common type of substation that you will see. I've written this course to give you a basic understanding of how these substations operate and to go through all of the equipment that they contain. In the first section, we introduce all of the basic parameters of an air insulated substation and look at all the main equipments that we use including circuit breakers, isolators, instrument transformers, and bus bars. All of these equipments need connecting together, and in the next section, we look in detail at the conductors, bus bars, and clamps that achieve this. There are many different types, and we look at how these are chosen based on the current and substation configuration. In the next section, we look at insulators. These are critical to keeping the substation safe and ensure that the live conductors are safely kept away from the grounded structures that support them. We look at the key features of insulators and see how the creepage distance affects their design. In the next section, we look at isolators. These are used on the network to disconnect sections of the bus bar so that safety permits can be issued and people can work safely on the substation equipment. We then look in detail at grounding equipment and we look at the sequence of how portable grounding equipment is used to make equipment safe to work on. Metal class switchgear is one of the main types of equipment that we use in the distribution network. In the next section, we look in detail at how this equipment operates and how all the design features make it one of the safest equipments on the network. Circuit breakers are the most important piece of equipment inside the substation and in the first section on this subject, We'll look at all the details of dead tank circuit breakers before looking at the theoretical side of how the circuit breaker breaks the arc. In the next section, we'll look at the other main circuit breaker design, which are live tank circuit breakers. These operate very differently to dead tank circuit breakers, and we'll look in detail at their internal design. Substation designers have many options of how to lay out an air insulated substation. In the next section, we look at the most common substation configurations and highlight the advantages and disadvantages of each. In the final section, we look at substation clearances. Air insulated substations use air as an insulating medium and we use the electrical clearances to lay out the equipment safely. I hope you enjoy this course and learn something about air insulated substations. As usual, if you've got any questions, or something doesn't make sense, do not hesitate to contact me.